Unit 4, Lesson 1, Size of Divisor and Size of Quotient. Number 1, Order from Smallest to Largest. Number of pennies in a stack that is one foot high. Number of books in a stack that is one foot high. Number of dollar bills in a stack that is one foot high. Number of slices of bread in a stack that is one foot high. Since most books are thicker than pennies, dollar bills, and slices of bread, there would be fewer number of books in a stack that's one foot high. The next fewest in a stack one foot high would be slices of bread because they're thicker than both pennies and dollar bills. Pennies are thicker than dollar bills, and the thinnest of them all are the dollar bills. You'd be able to fit more of these in a stack that's one foot high. Number two, use each of the numbers 4, 40, and 4,000 once to make true statements. A, the value of 40 divided by 40 and 1 hundredth is close to 1. This is true because the dividend and the divisor are close in value. B. The value of 4 divided by 40 and 1 hundredth is much less than 1. This is true because the value of the dividend is much less than the value of the divisor. C. The value of 4,000 divided by 40 and 1 hundredth is much greater than 1. This is true because the value of the dividend is much greater than the value of the divisor. Number 3. Without computing, decide whether the value of each expression is much smaller than 1, close to 1, or much greater than 1. A. Much greater, because the value of the dividend is much greater than the value of the divisor. B. Close to 1. This is true because the dividend and the divisor are fairly close in value. C. Close to 1. Again, because the dividend and the divisor are close in value. D. Much smaller. This is true because its dividend is very small compared to its large divisor. D. Much greater. Because its dividend is very large and its divisor is much smaller. F. Much smaller than 1, because its dividend is very small compared to its very large divisor. Number 4. A rocking horse has a weight limit of 60 pounds. A. What percentage of the weight limit is 33 pounds? I made a double number line, and I know that 60 pounds is 100% of the weight limit. And the question was, what percentage of the weight limit is 33 pounds? 60 pounds divided by 60 equals 1 pound. 100% divided by 60 equals 100 over 60. I can reduce 160ths by making the 100 10 times smaller and by making the 60 10 times smaller. And that becomes 10 over 6 or 10 sixths. They're asking what percentage of the weight limit is 33 pounds. So I need to multiply the 1 pound times 33. So 1 pound times 33 equals 33 pounds. Now I need to multiply 10 sixths times 33. And 10 sixths times 33 equals 55%. 33 pounds is 55% of the 60 pound weight limit. I'm going to reuse my double number line since I've already divided 60 by 60 to get 1 and I divided 100% by 60 to get 10 sixths percent. So to figure out what percentage of the weight limit is 114 pounds, I have to multiply 1 times 114 to get 114 pounds and I need to multiply 10 sixths times 114 and that is 190%. 114 pounds is 190% of the 60 pound weight limit. C. What weight is 95% of the limit? 
Well, for problem C, they're giving us the 95% and they're asking us to find the amount of weight that that represents. So this time, I'm going to make the 100% into a 1%. So I have to do the same thing to the weight. So 60 times 1 hundredth equals 60 over 100 or 6 tenths. Now I can multiply the 1% times 95 to get 95%. And of course, if I do that to the bottom number line, I need to do that to the top number line. So 6 tenths times 95 equals 57 pounds. So 57 pounds is 95% of the 60 pound weight limit. Number five, compare using greater than, equal to, or less than symbols. A, 7 tenths is equal to 70 hundredths. B. 3 hundredths plus 6 tenths is greater than 30 hundredths plus 6 hundredths. C. 9 tenths is greater than 12 hundredths. Number 6. Diego has 90 songs on his playlist. How many songs are there for each genre? A. 40% rock. I made a double number line with 90 songs represented directly above 100%. Next, go ahead and turn that 100% into 1%. I chose to multiply it by 1 over 100. And next, I have to multiply 90 by 1 over 100, which gives me 90 hundredths or 90 over 100. Remember, 90 hundredths is equivalent to 9 tenths. I need to multiply 1% times 40 to get 40%, and I need to multiply 9 tenths by 40, and that gives me 36. His playlist consists of 36 songs from the rock genre that equals 40% of his 90 songs. B. 10% country. I'll go ahead and use the same double number line again. Only this time I'm going to multiply 100% by 1 tenth. That would give me 10%. Next I multiply 90 by 1 tenth and that gives me 9. Diego has 9 country songs on his playlist. C. 30% hip hop. I decided to keep the same double number line because I know that I can multiply 10% times 3 to get 30%. And if I multiply 10% by 3, I need to multiply 9 songs by 3. 9 times 3 is 27. Diego has 27 hip-hop songs on his playlist. D. The rest is electronica. Add up the rock, country, and hip-hop songs, and you have 72 songs out of 90. Subtract those 72 songs from the 90 songs on his playlist, and you have 18 songs in the electronica genre. Number 7. A garden hose emits 9 quarts of water in 6 seconds. At this rate, A. How long will it take the hose to emit 12 quarts? I made a table with the 9 quarts on the left, and the six seconds on the right. Nine quarts divided by nine equals one quart, and six seconds divided by nine equals six ninths, which is reduced to two thirds. One quart times 12 equals 12 quarts, and two thirds times 12 equals eight. It takes eight seconds for the hose to emit 12 quarts. B. How much water does the hose emit in 10 seconds? 6 seconds divided by 6 equals 1 second. 9 quarts divided by 6 equals 1 and a half quarts. 1 second times 10 equals 10 seconds. And 1 and a half quarts times 10 equals 15 quarts. The hose emits 15 quarts in 10 seconds. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 4, Lesson 1, Size of Divisor and Size of Quotient.